Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome back. Time now 641. Joining us this morning, Commander Jimmy Jackson and uh, Sandy Prophet Jackson, both you guys with the Kentucky CSA Infantry, the 8th Kentucky Infantry. And you guys are here, obviously, dressed up for a reason. You got uh, a special event going on this week, and it started, I guess, uh, today. Starts today, correct? Yes, sir. It runs through the whole month, but uh, especially on the 4th of July, I got something going on in Round County there at the uh, old courthouse. Tell us about it. Well, we're the 8th Kentucky Infantry, uh, CSA and U.S. Living Historians. We do Civil War reenacting and living history, both Union and Confederate, all over the United States. And we're here this morning, Chris, and we appreciate it to let everybody know that Round County Historical Society and Round County Arts Foundation and the 8th Kentucky are presenting an art show of Civil War art mm -hmm. during the month of July at the Round County Courthouse, which is our art center in Moorhead. And what we're doing on this Saturday, we're going to have an open house from 1 to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. where we're having an encampment set up. We're having different photographs, such as the ones I've brought today. And in this art show, we're going to have original items, uniforms, clothing, reproductions. We're going to have original items such as shells, mm -hmm. the little musket, mini balls. We're going to have your shoulder leaflets. And 90% of what we have is trying to bring back the history of not just the Civil War, the North and the South, but the 1800s also. Uh, speaking of which, I hate to interrupt you, but okay. uh, I want to talk to Sandy. And Sandy actually drove here I don't know if you're wearing the hat, but you were definitely wearing that dress, and uh, this is the kind of stuff that obviously many women wore back then in that period you're talking about, and uh, it's got to be a challenge in the summertime to wear something like that. Um, yes, most of the time you're covered from head to toe. A woman wears seven layers underneath her clothing. Um, that was that was they done that to protect their skin back back in the 1860s. Uh, yes, I drove here. Uh, we drove separately because I work in Lexington, right. and uh, yeah, it was a difficult <laughs> <laughs> job to get in, and it's very uncomfortable to drive that long a period because it's an hour from. Uh, oh, I don't head. doubt that. Well, Sandy and Jimmy, people are going to get a chance to take a look at at history coming to life this weekend and uh, join them there in uh, in Moorhead there for that. And guys, thanks for stopping by. And once again, Sandy, thanks for driving in like that. And when we come back, Mary will take a look at your weather, including your holiday forecast. Stay with us.